Hey everyone, so Matthew Perry is has made a video that Terra Luna Classic has to repay 10 billion in bad debt. Let's take a look at this. Make sure to smash that like button. Stay this way the whole time. You can correct me in the comments and you know, I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, but he said something about $10 billion in bad debt. And this is what we got. We got a couple of screenshots here that I want to show you guys. And one of the screenshots you see here, um, you're going to see is already mentioned that there there's $10 billion in bad debt they have to clear from uh, Luna Classics or classic Luna chain. Is there is that all staking money owed? Uh, how is how has this been calculated? Who has to pay this off? All of those questions we need to find a way to answer. It is US Terra. This is about 10 billion USD and it's trading at three cents or even less. So market cap is like 300 million. Difference is all bad depth in the system. Then, um, you know, EK826. It uh, we go to the next things. RR does. The point with 10 billion is that if you look at the big centralized exchanges, buying up the market to $1 is not a very big feature. Could probably be done for somewhere around five, 50 million USD looking at the current 24 hour volume. Once we reach $1, a lot of investors would probably cash out, means the price would start cooling down unless someone defends the $1 peg. So, all people that have been defending the $1 peg were seeing supply to be exit capital USD to recover their losses and give current supply is like. 9.8 billion, and that means like 10 billion USD is infused. And, and the general high risk of over their losses, and given how the current supply is like 9.8 billion, that means we need like 10 billion USD infused uh, to burn through the bad debt in the system as a whole. So uh, I guess um, like we need a lot and a lot to burn the bad debt for Terra USD. So while Terra was not working, uh, it had this sort of a bad depth that a lot of people didn't realize. So that really breaks it all down. And when we when we look at everything, so let's go here and let's let's go to Coin Market Cap and go to Terra Luna. That's not 100% the case, right? So I would imagine the reason why they are, and this is all speculation, but I would imagine the reason why they are putting the 1.2% um, in there is not to uh, basically. Um, get to UST or get UST back to its peg state at the moment. It's to get Terra Classic back to a situation or back to a level to where it can uh, support that. So what we're doing is not saving the Terra Classic dollar. We're actually saving uh, Terra Classic. We're saving Terra Classic and not Terra USD. Peg state. Because if Terra Classic can't support that peg state, then... Um, USTC cannot survive at that $1 price point. So let me show you here as we go into USTC, uh, let's show you here. Uh, you're gonna see again, the circulating supply is 9.82 billion. Total, you're looking at uh, 10.254 uh, billion there. So that 10 billion is USTC. Now understand this. <clears throat> This right now, the algorithm is not in place or it's not active. It's still there, but it's not active. Um, in order for this to get back to the level that it needs to get back to, you can't implement anything in USTC. Uh, you have to implement things in Terra Luna Classic, which supports USTC. However, as you do see that at, to a level to where it can support USTC, that now turns the minting feature back on, right? If they're gonna do it that way. Now, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but if they're gonna do it that way, it turns the minting feature on so that you can take out some coins, support the USTC level. But the point is- So I didn't kind of understand what Matthew Perry meant by this, but the real important factor is we basically need to burn down Terra Classic's uh, big supply. And that's the main reason we are making. Like even the developers agree to it. Uh, a lot of people have saw saw this bad depth, uh, and it is basically USD, you know. And we somehow have to repay this to bring Terra Classic. I'm guessing Terra Classic dollar back to one dollar. Um, and if you look at the big centralized exchanges buying up the market to one dollar, it's not a very big feat. It could probably be done for somewhere around 50 million, looking at the current 24-hour volume. So we could reach one USD. A lot of uh, investors would cash out, and this is talking about. You know, uh, taking Terra Classic uh, back uh, to to uh, actual one dollar, but again, if we got to one dollar, a lot of people would start selling their three cents, their their things like that. So I don't think you know Terra Classic USD is ever gonna be one dollar, especially because you know the 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 actual uh, depth we have for it is like ten billion. 
But a real factor is the Terra Classic is like the king of the hill here. So what do you guys think about this? Like a really, 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 really good video by Matthew Perry. Be sure to check it out. Leave you guys down in the description below. But what I think about this is basically Terra Classic is doing great. Yeah. But we still have a lot and a lot to go from here um, if we want to save Terra Classic. I mean, yeah, look, we're doing the right things. We're, we're making the right calls. But the 1.2% burn could change everything for a long time. So the debt, is it ever going to be repaid? I don't think so. You know, maybe some people will repay it. But even if it gets repaid, uh, we couldn't be seeing, at least in my opinion, Terra Classic uh, dollar back at $1 or Terra Luna Classic dollar or, or USDT. Uh, it's just USD, sorry, not USDT. So USDC or whatever it's called. Uh, it's going to be very hard, but Terra Classic still has that momentum. So be sure to smash that like and peace, everyone.